It's been several years now since our department has been engaged with, in stakeholder consultations with regards to Grosley Castries Highway, which is now newly named as Sir Julian Hunt Highway. The main idea behind that was to look at soft measures that could be implemented on the highway to deal with some of the congestion issues at some of the, the most highlighted hotspots. What came out of this fiscal year was uh, a directive from um, the chief engineer to have a look particularly at the Bois de Wange area. In doing so, we identified four hotspot areas. One was SNS, one was Orange Grove Plaza, which was just newly opened as a potential. Um, computer world, which we uh, has been very notorious, and to some extent the uh, Chuya Gap um, Chuya. as well. In discussions and consultations with my colleagues, etc., we had to come up with various options, look at various feasible ideas that could assist with alleviating some of those congestion issues, um, which which were posed as a result of those intersection points. In doing so, the various options such as holding lanes, um, perhaps a, a larger roundabout system in particular areas, um, were all being considered, even perhaps even the widening of lanes as well, to widen the roads and even making one-way systems. But due to various constraints, it was um, it was reduced to the one that we have chosen to look at that as a pilot option to see if perhaps this could work in such a constrained area. It was also identified that the first one that we should look at is the SNS junction, which to some degree, particularly when it comes to northbound traffic, appeared to be a, um, a hotspot for increasing the, the backlog of traffic, which extended all the way to computer world and beyond. This was the option that was therefore uh, decided upon a mini roundabout, not a full-fledged roundabout. A full-fledged roundabout would generally um, ha um, acquire a much larger space and has the options of being able to um, actually do an entire 360 degrees and turn back in the same direction. This isn't an issue that's taking place at SNS. No one is trying to turn back. But um, what is the issue that going on at SNS is the ingressing and egressing into and out of the, that plaza. And if somehow we can do a bit of management of the traffic um, to ease off on the waiting time, we hope that this could possibly help. So in this year's um, budget, we presented those options to the chief engineer and got the endorsement to do our first pilot one at SNS. A contractor was selected by um, um, t a tendering process. And what I have found with this contractor, he had very good project management skills. I had indicated previously that this project should take approximately three to four weeks. I found that this contractor um, managed his work well, and actual works was done in one week. I believe that he completed the works on the actual Good Friday. The scope of works incorporated the resurfacing of the junction, the both lanes, which, which had um, showed um, a lot of fatigue and was also contributing to the slowing down of traffic. So this was resurfaced on the first day. The actual construction of the dome took place in concrete um, the, the second day. And on the third day and fourth days, we worked on the traffic regulations, i.e. the signs and road markings. What also contributed to the, 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 the expediting of the project was the fact that in looking at the three weeks, we were looking at normal working time. 
We certainly recognized this was going to have a lot of hindrances and, and there were going to be a lot of um, consideration for traffic management issues. And so it was agreed with the contractor that, um, in fact, he proposed that he, he didn't mind working uh, a night shift to do most of the um, main um, components of the project, i.e. the asphalt paving and the concrete you know, of, the, of the dome and even the road markings. As a result, this minimized um, traffic congestion considerably and allowed the contractor to work um, unimpeded. Um, and as such, he was able to work and get the works done within a week, one week. In my opinion, I believe it's, it's, it, it will work with time. It's going to need plenty of education. Um, I had hoped to have put out education um, videos, etc., through our own GIS department, working with the other media, um, med medias, etc., to um, prior to the commencement of the works. Unfortunately, due to some constraints that we had, we were not able to do so. But it is out there now. Um, it's out there on the media. It's out there on our um, departmental uh, Facebook page. Um, and we have, we're not stopping there because the videos that are there are, are international videos, um, videos that have also been put out by some of the driving schools. Um, they have noted posts from them. Um, but we're going to work on one exclusively using the SNS mini roundabout as our starting point to do some education for all motoring public. What is also important for me and um, what is also important for me is that understanding that we as drivers have passed our driving test. We, we know the regulations. We know to obey the signs. We've got to learn to start to obey the rules and regulations that govern driving. And um, so a mini roundabout is one of just one of those things. They're there. The signs are there. The road markings are there. You're supposed to slow down. You're supposed to allow traffic from the right, right of way once they're on the mini roundabout, and then proceed, proceed around the, the roundabout. It is shaped in a way that deals with all forms of traffic, even um, the long articulated vehicles. You're not ex an art articulated vehicle is not uh, designed to be able to go uh, do 90 degrees um, around the roundabout but it is, the dome is shaped so that its wheel axles can actually um, traverse over, over the dome. So it's about just obeying some basic rules. Um, and with education, with time, I believe we will see the success of this mini roundabout. It will take time, but I believe we can get there.